why do we keep buying? Why do we need to get surrounded by things and clothes and create an idea of ourselves in the eyes of others and our own eyes on that matter through objects? Okay, we need clothes for more than just protecting us from the cold. And we need a couch, a table, uh, or chair, or anything you, you might think about for creating your comfort. But where is the comfort in opening your wardrobe in the morning and feeling overwhelmed? Where is the comfort in yet another candle in a carpet that you have to move so to clean beneath and above? Where is the comfort in hundreds of objects that need to be moved around, changed, cleaned, stored and made space for? Comfort doesn't lie in the lack of space. Comfort is a state of mind and to bring it to your life, you need to make a space for it. When I say make a space for it, I intend physically, mentally and spiritually. Hello everyone, I'm Alexandra. If you're regular on this channel, welcome back. <laughs> if you're new, I hope at the end of this video you feel lighter, better and more comfortable. I said this because when I watch a YouTube video or a vlog, those are the feelings I'm in search of. Comfort and personal growth. Overconsumption is a fact, a fact that threatens the planet. Yes, but today I will not talk about that. I leave, however, a link below for videos on this topic. Today, instead, I want to focus on the threat overconsumption presents for our own well-being without realizing it. One often thinks, okay, one pair of jeans more or another t-shirt can be useful and will most certainly be worn. But if you regularly open your wardrobe and think I have nothing to wear in front of it, then a pair of jeans more is not solving your problem. Your problem is that your clothes create clutter, both mentally and physically. Physically, your wardrobe is overloaded with clothes. It creates visual noise. It's like, I don't know, living in the main street of a big city and trying to meditate with wide open windows. It just doesn't work. And as the visual noise is not enough, you have to take care of these clothes. Um, so wash them, dry them, arrange them, style them and so on and so on. I give an example with clothes, but it could easily be home furniture and uh, decoration elements overloaded with prints, walls or anything else. Haven't you noticed how in front of clutter we lose clarity, focus and freedom? I most certainly do that. In these cases, I realized that I was no longer free to choose what to wear, but condemned to go mentally through all the possible combinations of all my own. I'm not free to sit on my couch and relax if many cushions need to be put in their perfect order first, neither if there is, uh, I don't know, dust on them, and the many pictures and embellishment objects or uh, stuff on the little coffee table and so on and so on. Mentally and physically, I engage more energy to take care uh, or think about the things I have to do for these items than being recharged by them. The solution, so obvious and yet can be so difficult to implement. Release yourself from anything that creates clutter in your physical and mental space. Let go of the things that consume your precious energy. Shopping consumes not only your money, but mostly your time time to search for uh, for the item queue and make a purchase but mostly time after you bring that purchase at home and you don't need that you need to be focused on the goals you set for yourself you need your energy to enjoy the life you want to live Now, I don't say you should be owning um, a few clothes and a lonely grey couch between four white walls, but take off from your space and mind everything that consumes your time and gives no immediate joy. I don't have a coffee table, an example. We had one, it was only taking space and catching dust, so we gave it away. I don't even have a lot of uh, decoration on that matter, just some of my paintings, here <laughs> and crochet I made. Cherish the clothes and objects that give you positivity. 
So I have a little llama made of salt cubes that I bought in Atacama in Argentina and I just love it. Sitting down and taking my llama in my hands just gives me so much positive immediate energy that I cannot do else but smile. <laughs> Wait, let me show you my llama. This, you see? It's written Salinas de Salina. Well, I thought it's written Salina de Atacama, but no, it's just Salina. It has also a little claw. Clothes that give no satisfaction. In the past, I used to buy clothes that didn't fit me in that very moment, but would be supposed to motivate me to lose weight. I never lost weight to fit in a skirt or anything. It's not how it works. Now I buy only clothes that make me feel comfortable today. And I need, of course. I buy less than ever. In the past three, four years altogether, I bought less than what I was supposed to buy in one year alone. As a consequence, I have more time. Dressing is much easier and faster. Cleaning my home used to be a full day activity before and now is three hours activity. I have fewer things and it takes me less time and energy to take care of those things. Sometimes I improvise inviting a friend over for a coffee during the day or a cocktail at the end of the day and guess what? I never have to arrange anything. Yes, sometimes I have uh, to take the extra chair in the bedroom um, and so clean it from the cat's hair because uh, he sleeps there all the time. But I mean, it's one thing that I'm fine to do occasionally. Your house and your wardrobe say a lot about your identity, but most importantly, they determine how you live. Do you live focused on yourself and your goals or overwhelmed in front of a pile of clothes or the idea of the things you need to do before inviting people to your place. Instead of shopping as a source of satisfaction, live more only with the things you actually love and satisfy you as a form of intentional self-expression. Because the thing is, if you overconsume clothes, objects, furniture, etc., with time, those items will overly consume your life. A life you're supposed to live, not shop for. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Brave New World for more insights into how minimalism and intentional living can help you express your true self while also making more conscious choices for the planet as well. Let's break free from overconsumption together.